yo, can you stop texting me? I'm in the middle of a video. Can you please stop texting me? Bro. Wow, you really just threw me off. Why did you text me? Hello? All right, so what's poppin', everybody? It's your man, Young Ida Costello, back again with another video. Now, before we go ahead and get into this video, I told you guys on Instagram, I told y'all, it is back to school pickups week. No, that doesn't mean that it's like gonna end until Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no. I'm saying back to school pickups week is gonna last until I just stop. That means it's gonna last for a minute. What does that mean? That means your top five back to school clothes, top tens, top 10 hats, top 10 shirts, top 10 shorts, top 10 pants, top 10 shoes, top five back to school shoes. I got you. All of that is gonna be pushing out. I'm going to be pushing out the content. You guys already know what time it is. It is grind time. It is Nashi season, summer 17 grind time. And you guys already know if you rep the Nashi clan, if you rep Nashi season, spam be a goat in the comment section down below. Now this video right here, I'm going to go through the best sneaker releases of July. I know July is almost over, but it, Bear with me a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the best sneaker releases and I'm going to put them in its own little top 10 list. So I know you guys want to just go ahead and get into it. So without further ado, sit back, relax, go to McDonald's. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, go to McDonald's, get you a Whopper because we are about to get it popping. Now for number 10, I have to give it to the Mr. Cartoon X Nike Cortez. Now we'll say that this shoe right here is a definite sleeper shoe for July. I do think that when this shoe releases, it's going to sit just like a lot of shoes these days, just like a lot of Jordans these days. Even though this isn't a Jordan, I still think that this shoe is definitely going to sit. I do like the quality of it. I do like how it's like all suede down. It looks like the materials are premium. And then also when you go up and you keep looking up, the eyelets and the lace holes are both, they both have like the little rusted gold effect on them. And I think that that's cool. And then also, it also has that Air Force One effect where it has that Air Force One emblem at the bottom of the toe. And I think that that's cool also. It's just a nice little cool shoe, a nice little gum bottom. The navy blue hits are cool. The quilted hits on the side of the shoe are cool. And also, like I said before, the way the shoe is just all laid out in that suede is also pretty cool. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the price of this shoe is gonna be, but I feel like if this shoe's around that $100, $120 mark, maybe even like a $60, $70, $80 mark, I think that this is an easy cop. But how do you guys like this shoe? Do you guys think that it's dope? Do you guys think that it's trash? Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below. Now for number nine, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 1 High OG Premium Essentials. Now like I said, this shoe is another sleeper shoe, and this is another shoe that is going to sit. This shoe is going to be slept on. This shoe is gonna be like the Midnight Navies. This shoe is gonna be like that Ying Yang pack. You're going to be able to pick this shoe up for the low low, probably like 95, probably like 90, maybe even 70 if you can get you a cool little deal, get you a cool little coupon. Now this shoe right here, if you look on the picture, it looks like this shoe is in like this all cream, like this all old cream. And I think that that is a pretty cool color just because when it comes to the Air Jordan 1, you definitely don't see any shoes with that color cream on it. So I think that that's pretty cool. I do think that this shoe is gonna sit, especially for 160. You guys know I copped the white and red metallic reds, th those Air Jordan ones. Uh, I had to take those back. Cause like, you go, you could buy this shoe for like 90 bucks now, probably like 80 bucks, 85 bucks. And that's just the L. So I think that these shoes are definitely dope. Definitely one of the sleeper shoes of July. But as for if I will be copping it, no. I can't say that I will be copping it just because it's pretty bland. It's a dope shoe, but it's just pretty bland. But if you guys want like a nice little quick Air Jordan 1 for back to school, this is your guy right here. Now for number eight, I have to give it to the Nike Air Max 97. Now I'm not sure what exact colorway name this is, but I but if I had to choose a name, I'll call these the Faux Supreme. If you guys know the last 97s that dropped, they were the Supreme 97s. And the main ones, actually the best ones in my opinion, you had a navy blue pair, you had a red pair, I believe you had a black pair, and you also had like this gray snakeskin pair, which I believe was the best pair. You also have this pair right here that has that snakeskin effect on it. And the reason why I call them the faux supremes is because the snakeskin looks nice on it, but it doesn't look as nice as the supreme pair. But definitely, you can't sleep on this shoe. This one has that sandy creamish color and like that all sandy cream. We've seen a little bit of a trend from the last two shoes right here. This 
is extremely dope. For 160, 160 is not that bad because you guys know that Air Maxes can lead into the I just dropped my phone. Air Maxes could lead into that $200 to $225 mark. So that's definitely something good that it's just 160. But one thing that you do have to look out though, Air Max 97s, they have been selling out. The gold medals have sold out. The silver bullets have sold out. One thing, I don't understand why the Air Max 97 is selling out. It's a dope shoe, don't get me wrong. But like, it's one of those shoes where it's like, how is that shoe getting that hype around it to do what it's doing? Like, why is that shoe selling out? But like, flying it racer multicolors are sitting. You feel me? But like I said, this shoe right here is extremely dope. The snakeskin scales at the bottom of the shoe definitely look nice. I call these the faux supremes. So let's just say you guys actually like the Supreme 97s. I thought those were dope. And you guys weren't able to get them. And you don't want to pay 300 to 400. Hey. If you're able to cop these, you can get you a nice little secondary shoe right here. All right, so for number seven, I have to give it to the PSNY X Air Jordan 12 Milan. Now, these shoes, these Air Jordan 12s, in pictures, I will say, look dope. The only reason why I say in pictures is because I believe the last time PSNY had a collab, it was the gray joints, the all gray ones that had that same look, right? And when I saw, like, actual video of them, the quality looked trash. It looked really dumb. It looked extremely crazy. It did not look cool at all. I'm hoping that they saw how bad the quality was on that last shoe, looked at this shoe and improved on the quality. That's why I have this as my number seven shoe right here. Just because olive green is a dope color. I don't know who doesn't like olive green. Olive green is a clean color. And just the Air Jordan 12 and all olive green and potentially an all new buck suede that just seems like a beautiful combination in my opinion. But if Jordan brand messes up on the quality, like the shoe's not out yet. Listen to me. If Jordan brand messes up on the quality, forget that this shoe would forget that I even talked about this shoe. Forget it. Okay. For, for Okay. Forget. Now this shoe, along with some other 12s that look just like this shoe, they actually released on the 28th of last month, but I will say that they do restock the 13th, which is pretty cool. So if you guys were not able to get this shoe, if you got like an extra $300 laying around, go ahead, treat yourself, cop you some. But if the quality on these bad boys are trash, just know that they're completely off this list in general. Now for number six, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 2. Thunder Blue. Now the Air Jordan 2 is also one of those shoes that I think is nice. I think it looks nice in pictures, but my opinion of this shoe will really tell when I see this shoe in person or if I see this shoe in person. As far as will this shoe sell out? No. We know that this shoe's not gonna sell out. We know that this shoe's gonna sit. Just like a lot of Jordans nowadays, the main Jordans that sell out are like the OG Air Jordan 1s, uh, 11s, maybe a little bit of 11s, some 12s here and there. But most of the Air Jordans nowadays, they sit. Not because they're not selling, just because Jordan is mass producing them. I'm sure they're still selling more or even better than they were when they were just making limited amounts. That's just how it is. But I will say that this Thunder Blue pair right here, it looks nice on pictures. It looks like it has this nice little New Buck suede going through it. I'm a sucker for New Buck suede. You gotta be aware with New Buck suede though. You can buy you some New Buck suede shoes and mess them up really bad. Nobody wants that. Facts, facts. So I do think that this shoe is pretty cool, but I need to see the shoe in person to really make my opinion of it. Cause you never know. The shoe kind of looks ashy in the picture, but then like you can see it in person and it doesn't look so ashy. Or maybe like the shoe might not look ashy in the picture, but then you see it in person and it's a whole different shade. So like I said, along with the last shoes, these shoes, they're, they're, they're kind of just sitting there. They have the potential to stay on the list and they also have the potential to leave. But this shoe right here is a shoe that you already know is going to sit. You already know it isn't going anywhere. So if you guys like a nice little Air Jordan 2, this is also a back to school shoe for you. I'm, I'm just gonna have to keep it real. All right, so for number five, I have to give it to the PSNY X Air Jordan 12 Bordeaux. Now this shoe right here, sick, definitely dope. Definitely dope. Like I said, you need to make sure that the quality on this shoe is dope. Like I said, along with the last two, three shoes that I said, this shoe has the potential to be off the list if the quality is trash, but just that colorway, sick. Just the colorway of this shoe, 
is real. Like I said, not necessarily feeling the $300 price tag, but then again, this is a collab shoe, but that Bordeaux color, that light, lightish, darkish pink all over that Air Jordan 12, something that we've never seen before. That's like if I went and played 2K, got like some extra VC, and just threw together a 12. This is something that I would make it look like, just, j just to try, just to see what's up, you feel me? This looks sick. It restocks on the 13th. Will you guys be copping this shoe? Will I be copping this shoe? No, because I don't necessarily need it in my collection. But this shoe right here, if you guys have some extra squalor that you're trying to throw away, this one is for you. Now for number two, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 2 Deacon. Now this shoe has the potential to be one of the best shoes of 2017. You guys see the Black Cat 3s, the Black Cat 4s all black ultra boots it's something about an all black shoe that really makes you want to you know it, it it's something about just a all black shoe that really makes you love this shoe even more what can really set this shoe off for me is the quality if this shoe has that premium all black nuba this shoe can be a winner this shoe doesn't have no unnecessary hits to it it's just all black the 160 price tag match with the all black it's fine if you guys don't like bland shoes and i don't recommend this shoe for you because it's all black so this is not necessarily colorful it's not necessarily going to be bright for you but this is just one of them stealthy one of the mean one of the nice little aggressive shoes i mean i don't know maybe july is the month of air jordan 2s this bad boy right here and that all black crazy i might have to cop this one on the low like when the price goes down because we already we already know this shoe is going to sit but when the price goes down this might have to be a shoe that you know i uh i strike after now for number three i have to give it to the air jordan 5 red suede now this was a shoe that surprised me because when the shoe came out i didn't expect it to sit i definitely did not expect this shoe to sit on shelves collect dust and now you're like able to get this shoe for like 120, 140 bucks. I definitely didn't expect that. It's kind of like a poor man's raging bull. But the thing about that shoe is that it's sick. Like, I don't know, like I was watching reviews of this shoe on YouTube and I was going through the comment section and everybody was hating on the shoe. I was like, huh? Like if this was like, let's just say you took that all red midsole, right? And you made the all red midsole all black. That's a winner in everybody's book. Even if you left the icy sole all blue. That's a winner in everybody's books. That's the shoe that everybody is flocking to. But now that it's all red sole, all of a sudden things really changed that much. It didn't really change that much. It's definitely a dope shoe. It's definitely a really cool shoe. It's definitely a shoe that I need to get my hands on. But, you know, if you're into sneakers, you, you gotta be smart because these companies don't owe you anything. So there is definitely no need for you to just go spending extra cash, you feel me? But in my opinion, this Air Jordan 5 is dope. It is definitely on my list. I am hunting this shoe down. How do you guys feel about this shoe? A lot of people, there's like a lot of mixed emotions about this shoe. But then in the comment section down below, is the Air Jordan 5 Red Sway dope? Is it trash? I know there's another name for it, but you know, I, I haven't been on Soul Collector that much. I'm just going to keep it real. Put that in the comment section down below. Now for number two, I have to give it to the Nike Air Foam Posit Eggplant. This shoe right here, definitely an iconic shoe. Definitely one of my favorite foam posits, if not my favorite foam posit. The thing about this shoe is that, like, I remember being a freshman, you know, and there's this dude at school who had the shoe and he wore the shoe all the time, but like the shoe never got dirty. One thing about this shoe is that it's one of those shoes that like I could never afford, you feel me? Like, a foam posits, when they started off, started off at like 199. What is 199? That's 200. With tax, that's like 213, 214, 220, 225. That's just, it's just crazy there. When I was like, what, when I was like, 14, 15, I didn't have any money of my own to be spending on shoes like that. I didn't have a job. So I would see people walking around in these shoes and I'd be like, yo, those are the eggplants. I'd be like almost astonished by the shoe. So I'm, I, I don't know, man. I think this shoe's gonna sit because I think coppers dropped and those are sitting. But I mean, these are, these are the eggplants, you feel me? This might have to be a go immediately. I might have to go after this shoe immediately i might have to just you know what drop the 200 say what's up get it popping the foam posit might just be mine i might have to make it mine if you guys want one of the best back to school shoes right here and i'm gonna make a separate video on back to school shoes straight up the air foam posit one eggplant 
one of the best back to school shoes. I don't know how much I can say it. I don't know how many times you want me to say it. The Air Jordan Foam Posit 1 is one of the best back to school shoes. Now for number one, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna call me a hype beast. I don't know how you can call me a hype beast. I've never showed any signs of height of being a hype beast on this channel. But I, I, I get it. I know you guys are probably gonna call me a hype beast. I, I, get, I, I understand. Number one, I have to give it to the Adidas Yeezy 350 Boost V2 Infant Saint. I gotta give it to the Saints, the cream white. I have to give it to them. You guys are probably sitting there like, dog, did you really just give the number one spot to an infant shoe? Yes, I did. Number one, it's a Yeezy. It's a Yeezy 350 Boost. The shoe is fire already. But number two, it's almost like, I don't know, it's almost like you can do any design with the Yeezy and then you might see it in pictures and think it's ugly, but then you see it in person and you're like, okay, this is kind of hard. The same with the Belugas. I saw the Belugas in pictures and thought they were trash. Why you text me like three days late? I'm off that. Come on, yo. It's just in my opinion, no matter what you can put on a Yeezy, it always finds a way to look good. And I know what you guys are probably doing. You're probably, you're probably like spamming in the comment section. Hi, beast. Hi, beast. Hi, beast. Check it out. I posted a video when the Pirate Blacks dropped. The, the, the first ones, when those dropped, I posted a video saying how I didn't like them. What did I get in the comment section? Straight hate. I did not care. I trolled that shoe for a full on year. Then I saw it in person. I had to give you, you gotta give credit where it's due. Now just for a little bit of insight on what is going on, as a YouTuber, when you're in the zone and when you are ready to film, like that is all you're thinking about in that moment. Especially for me. That means that I don't want anybody texting me. I don't want anybody calling me. I want to make sure that all I'm thinking about is the video that I have to make. So this girl right here, she texted me. But like she didn't just like text me once. That it, it's all good. She texted me like nine times in a row. You feel me? Like nine times straight in a row. And what that did was that threw me off. So I'm sitting there, I already have everything that I have to say down. And then she threw me off because she wanted to text me. And all the text messages were like, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And then the last one, she was like real rude. So it's like, I'm not your dude. I'm not your man. Why are you texting me like that? I'm in video mode. It's grind time. I don't care about nothing you doing right now. I don't care about nothing we supposed to be doing right now. When it's grind time, when it's time for me to get videos done, that's all I care about. So as you can see, I get thrown off and I get real mad when I get thrown off because that means that I have to think about everything that I have to say all over again. And then that, and then that doesn't make for a good video. You feel me? That pisses me off. So then what I did was, I mean, she called me up. And the first thing she said was straight rude. And, and that's what you about to see. Yo, can you stop texting me? I'm in the middle of a video. Can you please stop texting me? Bro. Why do you keep texting me? Wow, you're really pissing me off. Like, you're really pissing me off. You just threw me off. Stop texting me. Jesus Christ. Wow, you really just threw me off. Why did you text me? Wow. Hello? I'm at the crib. Huh? Alright, hold up. I'm filming. I'm finishing up my video. Alright, wait a minute. Like five minutes. Bro, you you low key like I was in a groove and you pretty you kind of just threw me off. Like I was I had a whole lot that I was about to say, and you threw me off. So like now I forgot everything I was about to say. So can you wait five minutes? Huh? All right. getting on my nerves you really pissing me off jesus jesus you really you really pissed me off i cannot believe you just did 
you really just pissed me off. I'm about to block you. You really, all right. But like I said, this shoe is extremely dope. The Adidas Yeezy 350 Boost, definitely cool. It doesn't matter if it's an infant shoe or not. It's just a real clean shoe. I mean, it, it's kind of weird to say that it's clean though, because it's like, it's just, I just think it's creative. This shoe definitely gets creative points for me just because it looks like an infant drew it. So that's why I think it's cool. That is the end of this countdown. We've seen Yeezys, we've seen eggplant foams, we've seen Air Jordan 2s and Air Jordan 12s that I'm a little iffy about. Will you guys cop those? Go ahead and spam in the comment section down below the ones that you like. Spam the ones that are trash. I think that all these were dope. Or maybe you just thought that the list itself was just straight garbage and you just want to be like, hey, hey, Chris, what are you doing? Like I said, it's back to school pickups week. Everything's coming. You're going to get videos grinded out. But like I said, new videos coming soon. And without further ado, all I got to say is, hey, blessings, 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 and uh, toss that. Chris, out. She really pissed me off. La 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 la